Today on the channel, like a young R-Truth, we get Rowdy, Rowdy Ronda Rousey, that is, as she is in the latest wave of the Mattel Elite Top Picks. here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel top picks and today on the channel we've got the very first ever female top pick in Rowdy Ronda Rousey but for all your Rowdy Ronda Rousey needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% gotta get a deal out there folks you guys know how that goes but today we're taking a look at Ronda Rousey's latest figure. And she just had an Elite not too long ago. Of course, she did come back to wrestling after a little bit of a time off uh, about a year ago. A little over a year maybe at this point. Actually, it was at Royal Rumble last year, so about a year at this point. And she's definitely had some peaks and some valleys, some ups and downs in her career as we've seen. I don't know if she's quite resonating with the audience like she used to. She's had a lot of distance between her time in the UFC. Now a whole generation of fans really no or more for wrestling and is she holding her own compared to some of the other female talent out there uh to me she leaves a little bit to be desired from time to time but we'll see what happens i'm interested to see on tv of course on smackdown her and Shayna baszler have regrouped i think that was a smart move we'll see if they're going to go after the women's tag team titles i think that would be something that would uh, work really well and i could see them possibly getting those at wrestlemania We'll see what happens. Stay tuned as they do always say. And also stay tuned for this review because we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. There's old Rowdy Ronda Rousey right there in the package. Of course, Ronda Rousey right there. Got a little glamour shot and happier times. Happier times in the picture at least. WWE top picks over there. Elite. And then, of course, you got the uh, big bubble window showing off the figure. Always like Ronda Rousey a little bit because I've told the story before. My daughter, when she was hot into the wrestling, you know, when she was five, six, seven, eight years old, we still go to shows, but she doesn't like it like she used to. She doesn't really watch anymore. But she used to love Ronda Rousey, and she used to like to dress up as Ronda Rousey. Uh, it was always cool to see kids being involved in that kind of stuff. Even if it was a short window of time, uh, I still got to enjoy that. So that was a lot of fun. So whenever I think of Ronda Rousey, I think of my daughter uh, dressing as her all the time and pretending she was her uh, around the house, putting me in arm bars, things like that. All oh, the fun we had, the fun we had. But there it is on the side, a little happy Ronda. You don't see very happy Ronda very often. She's always kind of got a permanent scowl on her face. On the side, you got the uh, certified authentic, of course. You got the true effects. You got her name, all that usual stuff. And on the back, there it is. You got the cross sell. We got John Cena. We got Bobby Lashley. We're going to unbox those on the channel. Make sure you do stay tuned. Make sure you do subscribe. We will talk about each of those. Of course, you got the blurb down there. You got the tail of the tape. You got the glamour shot. Let's see what it says about Ronda Rousey from Venice, California. Oh, baby. Majestic this time of year. Height, five foot seven. Finisher. The armbar, of course it is. Career highlights, Raw Women's Champion, SmackDown Women's Champion, 2022 Royal Rumble winner. There you go, there you go. The baddest woman on the planet defended her Raw Women's Championship in the first ever all-women's main event of WrestleMania 35. So there's old Ronda getting after it. You got the WWE logo background there. Nothing too exciting. See you later. Goodbye. All right, plastic prison time. Get the extra hands. You get the championship belt with her. Always good to see. Got the Raw Women's title, looking good. Pop these hands out. There it is. There it is. Uh-oh, she's locked in. Even the title belt is locked in. As we do see here, this is the old-style women's title belt. Of course, Elite Series 100, Becky Lynch. Uh, look for that review on the channel as well. Uh, that is the new style female belts. We will see a slow transition. A soft transition is probably they say it in the old business. At least that's what we say it in my business life. Uh, it's a soft transition. It's not an immediate. See you later. And I th I'm guessing that's what they're doing with this title belt as well. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what 2023 brings. Of course, you get extra hands with Ronda Rousey. She does come with one fist and a gripping hand, and then we get a gripping hand and a fist. So you get either or. You can put her in two fists, two grippings, mix and match. Choose your own. 
hand adventure. Uh, looking good. She's always got those straps on there, the red and the black attack going on. Uh, very typical Ronda Rousey hands we've seen over the years. Get the title belt, same type of thing. We've seen this title belt many times. Soon to be retired. We will be moving on to the smaller ones. I think that will work. Uh, it's time that happens, so we will have that. But, of course, the white Raw women's title belt. Always good to get a belt. It's always a good accessory. You can always make use of it somewhere. No side plates. I was going to check real quick. No side plates on this one. Now we get down to old Ronda. Of course, top picks for the most part. We're just getting uh, by the number repaints here. Some easy repaints to do. And that's what we get with this Ronda. Uh, we've had a few other Rondas over the years. And we're going to actually compare them. And we're going to bring those out here later in this video. But let's walk through this one first. Of course, mean mugging Ronda Rousey. She has always got that scowl on her face most of the time. And that's what she has here. Of course, the darkness around the eyes making her a little bit even madder. Even meaner is what she looks like. Hair all wrapped back in a nice braid. Of course, she got the ponytail on it. Ponytail looks like, oh no, okay, I was I was tempting fate, I thought we had a Rick Boog situation where we could pull this ponytail out, but I'm not going to tempt fate, doesn't seem to be the case right there, but definitely looks like her sandy blonde hair that we're used to with Ronda Rousey, uh, but it does look good, of course, head back and forth, side to side, a little bit up and down, really not a whole lot, head is removable for those keeping track at home, I know somebody's got a tally, they're tallying that, I'm sure, I'm sure there is, so head is removable, arms go all the way around, get the bicep cut, Got the double-jointed pinless elbows. We're playing all the hits with Ronda Rousey here. Of course, hands removable, back and forth, side to side, painted on black wrist tape. She just got her rowdy top, of course, after my boy, the Hot Rod Roddy Piper, one of my all-time favorites. Is she holding up the legacy of the Hot Rod? I guess you'd have to ask yourself that question or put it in the comments down below. But she just got the white and red top, very uh, Hot Rod-esque, of course, uh, looking good there. She just got the hula hoop at the top. You do got waist articulation. She can do the big old Ronda Rousey splits if need be. She does got the thigh cut back and forth, side to side on the legs. Good movement out of those legs. Double jointed knees, of course, not pinless. Does have a boot cut. Ankles up and down. Barely any side to side to speak of. Uh, she always looks like she's a little bit thick in the calf department, though, to me. Her legs, it's all one size there, which is something they need to fix, I do believe. She does have her skirt on. I thought the skirt was removable. What am I missing here? Oh, it's just very, very well hidden in the sculpt there. So the skirt, skirt is, of course, removable. Another accessory. Very Roddy Piper-esque. Uh, it's a kilt. It's a skirt on her. It's a kilt on Roddy. We know that. But it does look really good. That is really good. Of course, shorter than a male skirt, as we do know. And then we get down to the trunks here. She's got a black and red attack going all over. Got Rousey on the side. Definitely, definitely does look good. Uh, of course, Rhonda has always had a little interesting gear. She's always tugging at her tights, pulling them up and stuff, pulling on her trunks. Always heard back in the day, you know, uh, I've been around wrestling training. I've been around that in my life. And they always say, wear stuff that's comfy, comfy that's not going to mess you up because you shouldn't be fiddling around with your outfit while you're in the ring. It takes away from things. You're getting the snot kicked out of you. You shouldn't be fixing your pants. You'd probably be protecting your head. Uh, so that's one thing that is a pet peeve with Rhonda. I'm sure she's working on it. I'm sure she's working on it. Uh, but a good figure. I like this actually better than the last Ronda Rousey figure, and we will pull that out here in a second. Of course, does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles. Make sure you get the Mattel stands. Jazzware stands should only be made for Jazzware's figures, nothing else. Uh, remember that. Oh, I forgot on the bottom here. On the bottom of her uh, shoes here, you got Ron Rowdy Ronda. So that's very cool. Very cool there. Uh, but Ronda Rousey looking really good. And apparently this figure is resonating with the consumer out there. Because if you go to Ringside Collectibles as of filming this, Bobby Lashley's in stock. John Cena is in stock. She is on back order till February. So people are wanting this version of Ronda. So good for her. That's always a good thing. So there's Ronda there. A good representation. Like I said, I think it is better than her last Elite. That is this one here where, of course, she pointed at the WrestleMania sign. She's got the black Roddy Piper-style jacket going on. All in black street gear, Ronda Rousey, I guess we'll call that one. And we've had a lot of Rondas over the years. This is the one it reminds me the most of. It is the repaint of this one. This is an earlier Elite. But we go way back, of course, with some of the other figures from Ronda Rousey. Uh, you get her first Elite was this one, I believe. Once again, another street gear. As we do know with Mattel or any toy line out there, we see it with the G.I. Joe Classified line a lot right now. They're not going to give you the most iconic version or the one you really, really, really want right off the bat. They're going to give you street gear stuff. Or in Bazooka's case, they're going to give you Tiger Force Bazooka or Rakondo Bazoo Rakondo Tiger Force. Easy for me to say first because they know you'll buy that one. And if you put off the OG one, the one everybody wants, they were going to pass on the repaint. So you do it in the opposite order. We've seen that with Mattel with Ronda Rousey. 
Of course, there's her first elite. You got the first basic of her as well. She does have another basic that I needed to pick up. I think she was in a black shirt instead of the white. I never picked that one up, but I should add that to my to-do list. And then she does have one of the historic honors of being in the very first wave ever of the WWE Ultimate Editions. Of course, with the Ultimate Warrior. Oh, everybody loves Warrior, but the Ronda Ultimate, a hard one to get. It'll be interesting if this ever gets re-released down the line. It would not shock me if that does happen. Enough time has passed, and we've seen the track record record on the ultimates they do get re-released if there is a demand so we always say mattel they want every dollar out of your wallet and every coin out of your uh, purse your backpack wherever you're keeping your coins these days if you're even keeping coins who knows but there's ronda rousey man we could almost do a top five ronda rousey on the channel one of these days i don't know if there's a demand for that but if there is let me know in the comments down below but let me know your thoughts on this top picks ronda rousey uh, all in all out thinking about it long game let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Always helps the channel grow when you give it the old thumbs up. You guys know how that goes. Don't forget about subscribing to this channel. We got videos every single day, including pretty much everything wrestling related is unboxed at one time or another here on the channel. So if you like that kind of stuff for G.I. Joe, Thundercats, you name it. We do it all here on the channel. Make sure you do subscribe. And if you want early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, early content, Q&As, giveaways, you name it. It's all over there on the old Patreon channel. And best of all, you do support the channel when you are a member of the Patreon. And then don't forget, about pro wrestling tees you can support the channel pick up a t-shirt or you can even pick up this hot rod shirt over there whatever you want to do but pro wrestling tees and then forget about social media sir paul 64 is where you're going to find me on twitter instagram the underscore kyle underscore peterson so for ronda rousey top picks i'm kyle see you guys all real soon